So it's just come across the wire that Adonis Stevenson has been placed into a medically induced coma following his brutal knockout loss to Alexander uh, G. I I can't say his last name, so I'm just going to call him Alexander G for now. But I mean, this is absolutely devastating news. Um, Instantly, we begin to think if he's going to be okay long term. Uh, we think of guys like Pritchard Cologne, who is in a wheelchair now. I think he's in a vegetative state. Uh, Magomed Abdusalomov, who is in terrible shape. Um, and and this, so this would be the third, to my knowledge, the third uh, fighter in the last few years that ends up ends up like this. And um, there's been some some wild things said online um but first let me give you a little detail exactly what happened so according to this reddit user edic dre adonis promoter yvonne michelle spoke with him after the fight in the locker room yvonne said that he looked okay and yvonne went back to the ring because there were more fights after a short while someone came to get yvonne saying that adonis was not doing well at all Yvonne went back to the locker room, spoke with Adonis again, and said that the media and said to the media that Adonis was confused, and they put him uh, in an ambulance to leave to go to the hospital. Um, apparently, there is a video of this. Um, he is sitting on the stretcher, not laying down, but definitely looks confused. Okay, so there are some people. So that gives us, that kind of sets the stage. And so when I say there's some people saying some disgusting things about it, um, we're going to, we're going to address those people by name here. Okay. So if you know anything about Adonis's past, he used to be a pimp and apparently he was a very brutal pimp. Um, According to this Reddit user, I can't say his name. I don't know what that, what that says, but it basically says, well, basically he used to pimp out underage girls when he was younger. I like Stevenson, the the, the boxer, but he's pretty horrendous. He's a pretty horrendous person. I just hope he's changed for the better. Regardless, I don't wish this upon him or anyone and hope that he pulls through. Juicer expanded on that by saying he had two girls that he would rape at will with his buddy. The girls conspired to kill them once, but one of the girls revealed the plan and they both got beaten bloody as punishment. Madonna Stevenson made the two, the two of the two of the girls uh, box each other until one of them got knocked out. And he said his friend would knock them out if they did it. Now, obviously, that's pretty, pretty horrendous behavior. Um, but just take a look at take a look at this comment here. This comment here says by quirky equivalent bullshit. He told one of the girls he was prostituting that he would either get this knife that she would either get this knife in her ass or this dick in her ass. The gang he ran with forced women from 17 to uh, forced, excuse me, the gang he ran with forced 17 to 25 women to prostitute themselves. Stevenson will never be human in my eye. So I don't care if he gets G manned. Now that's just a wild, wild comment to say, um, you know, obviously, you know, if these things are true, obviously Adonis Stevenson done some terrible things in in the past. Um, if you want to read more about this, I'm sure you can go ahead, uh, do your Google searches. I think there's an article about it somewhere, but I mean, clearly it sounds like he has a troubled past and he made some mistakes, but that isn't reason to wish someone dies or that's not reason to wish someone ends up vegetable or mentally incapacitated for the rest of their time or refer to it as being G-man. That's crazy in itself. He's, of course, referring to Gerald McKellen, who is just, I mean, I think he's in a vegetative state. He's in a wheelchair. He can barely speak um, due to his fight with, uh, his name's not coming to me um, right now, but he had a fight in England and he was just severely hurt and brutalized and uh, he's in bad shape. So, I mean, just to call it G-Man, to say this guy deserves this, uh, that's that's just crazy. You know, despite his past, 
he doesn't deserve this. He doesn't deserve death. So for all those out there that are thinking things like that or they have that type of energy in regards to this, uh, I just want to leave you with this, okay? Not that he isn't an asshole for working as a pimp, but if you don't even know that Adonis left Haiti as a child and grew up in Montreal, also where he worked as a pimp and served his prison time, then maybe you shouldn't say fuck this guy while he's in the ICU. Now he's upgraded to a coma. But you shouldn't say fuck this guy while he's in the ICU. People are complex. People are complex. Adonis served his time. We shouldn't applaud, applaud any deaths in the ring, especially if we're boxing fans. Applauding a death in the ring, you're not a boxing fan. Okay? Beyond serving his time, Adonis has spent the last couple decades working with at-risk youth to steer them away from crime. He was a shitty person when he was a teenager. He still doesn't deserve to die. So I'm just going to leave you guys with that.